Man, man, oh man. It's looking like the end of Giannis Antetokounmpo with the Milwaukee Bucks, ladies and gentlemen. As reports are spiraling, sitting there and saying that Giannis Antetokounmpo is trying to force his way out of Milwaukee, especially how bad the Bucks are this season. You hear me? Uh, they're one and four. Giannis Antetokounmpo dropped 37 points as well tonight against the Memphis Grizzlies. And at the end of the day, they still lost. Damian Lillard scored four points. The defense looked so bad. It can't guard on the ball. The, the defense is just not there defensively. Offensively, they don't have enough firepower to compete. Middleton is hurt. And it looked like the Milwaukee Bucks is going in the wrong direction, especially when you look at previous years before they were once in championship contention, right? But that's when we got to hold Giannis Anacupo accountable because at the end of the day, he forced the organization to not only get rid of Coach Bud, but go hire Adrian Griffin when a better coach out of the two and Nick Nurse was available. Giannis Anacupo told the organization, don't get Nick Nurse, hire Andrew Griffin, who was a rookie coach that was not proven to be able to coach at a high level. Then on the process of getting Adrian Griffin, Giannis Anacupo forced the Milwaukee Bucks to not only get another star to pair with him in Middleton and provided more offensive creation and scoring on the perimeter. And that's when they got Damian Lillard, right? And in the process of that, Giannis Antetokounmpo signed his extension with the Milwaukee Bucks. You got Dame, Middleton. You get rid of, you know, valuable point-of-attack defenders, three-point shooters, and Grayson Allen, and Drew Holiday is gone as well, right? So on that, right, the Milwaukee Bucks were the favorites to come out the East. They was one of the favorites to come out the East, right? Uh, started a season last year where they were not that good. Um, the offense didn't really, really look as dominant as it was. And on top of that, they were still the second best offense in the league, but they were literally one of the worst defense. And it was noblessly a dip, you know, moving on for Drew Holiday, great point of attack defenders, right? On ball defenders like Grayson Allen, Drew Holiday, and these guys to go get a guy like Damian Lillard, right? Which Giannis Antetokounmpo wanted to a point where the defense was so bad, where they fired Adrian Griffin in January, right? And Giannis Antetokounmpo was a heavy influence on the get rid of Adrian Griffin because he was frustrating Adrian Griffin in the scheme that he was providing on the defensive side of the ball. So then on top of that, they go hire Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers, they were struggling a bit. The defense still looked bad as well, but they still, they got himself in the playoffs and Giannis Antetokounmpo got hurt. To fast forward to this season, the Bucks changed the roster. They got some other players, drafted other players as well, Right. And, you know, what I'm saying Giannis is returning back, but Giannis Antetokounmpo, there are some rumors that he's just not happy within that organization of how the roster is constructed. They really didn't get anybody this offseason but Gary Trent Jr. Um, and re-signed a couple of players. But this season, the Bucks are in another bad start of the season. They're one and four. Their defense look horrible. Their offense doesn't look that cohesive. And now there's rumors sitting here and saying that Giannis Antetokounmpo wants to get out of the Milwaukee Bucks. And, um, you know, this is a guy that's very, very unhappy. This is the thing about I got on this Giannis situation, right? Giannis Antetokounmpo got to look himself in the mirror and say, bruh, when I tried to play the LeBron James role, and what I mean the LeBron James role, when I tried to sit there and get involved in front office decisions, that's when it all messed up. Giannis Antetokounmpo wanted another superstar to play with. As great as Drew Holiday is defensively, right? As great he is as a, as a player that he can provide on offense and on the defensive side of the ball, right? Giannis Antetokounmpo felt the need that he need another great score by his side. And it backfired on him because Damian Lillard is just not the same player he used to be in his prime, Right? Um, Damian Lillard, how great Damian Lillard is offensively, like defensively, he's terrible, right? He shows no effort, he gets cooked consistently. But Giannis Antetokounmpo wanted this guy, and the Milwaukee Bucks made these sacrifices and moves to put Giannis in a situation where he is happy, put him in a situation where he can win championships, and it's just not resulting to that. You hear me? So when... Are we going to sit there and hold Giannis Antetokounmpo accountable for not only 
forcing and influence the organization to make moves for you to help you be happy and help you to prolong your stay with the Milwaukee Bucks, right? Which organization is supposed to do, not denying that, right? But then when we're looking at your play, you're not able to be durable in a postseason. On top of that, your defenses have falter as well. You're not the same level of rip protecting. And then your skills within the offense is not really that good. You're not a solid screen setter. You're not a good roller. So now when Dane called a high pick and roll, is not able to create that much creation, right, on the screen or on rolling towards the basket because you're not solid in those aspects, which is causing the Milwaukee Bucks offense, right? So I think Giannis Antetokounmpo got to look at himself and sit there and say, man, hey, I am the reason why – we're struggling right now because he's the best player, right? He is their best overall player. So he gets majority of the blame and he gets majority of the credit when they get it done, right? But it's about time for us to start holding Giannis Anacupo accountable. It's about time for us to hold him accountable because at the end of the day, for an organization that did almost everything for you and you got into a point where you were just happy within an organization where you signed an extension to a point mid-season you got Adrian Griffin fired. They got a worse coach in Doc Rivers who make no adjustment. And you think it's going to be some significant change. And it's not. And now you're sitting here saying that, you know, you're going to want to request a trade while not getting the job done, while not providing the Milwaukee Bucks another championship. I have problems with that. I have problems with Giannis on the Kubo leadership. Real talk. I don't think Giannis on the Kubo been a top five player because he hasn't been durable. He hasn't been valuable for his team and being healthy in the postseason. Last time Giannis Antetokounmpo had been healthy in the playoffs was two, three years ago. But this is the thing that I don't understand is that when he won that hospital ring in 21, people try to sit there and just lie about Giannis Antetokounmpo's career, like sitting there saying he's the best player in the world, sitting there saying that championship, you know, overvalues of him being the top 15, the you know, 10 player in the league and this overrating Giannis Antetokounmpo when number one, he's always been a playoff dropper. Number two, he has never, ever elevated his game at historical levels in the uh, playoffs. Number three, the flaws is there. He struggles against elite half court defense. Number four, right? He's a terrible screener. He's a terrible roller towards the basket as well. And number five, he has no respectable outside jump shot for the mid range in his post came is redundant. When teams build a wall and stack the paint, he is dropping to at least 10 to 12 percent. And we're looking at relative true shooting percentage. He's not that same player, bro. And then his defense is faltering as well. So that's the thing that we have to sit here and talk about Giannis, man. We got to evaluate his talent, but also give him criticism because at the end of the day, if people sit there calling you a top five player, you got to act like it throughout the collection of a regular season and in the playoffs. And at the end of the day, when the, when the Bucks fail, everybody's going to look at you, Giannis. Everybody's going to look at you. There's no running for this. People want to sit there and say, oh, Giannis stay into the grind and Giannis stick with his team and Giannis Antetokounmpo is the old school player of this era. No, that man wants to lead too, man. He wants to lead too. He ain't nothing without Drew Holiday. Once Drew Holiday left, man, they cannot get to the play. I can't make no deep posing runs, none of that. And that just shows you that Drew Holiday was a much better fit on that team than what it was for Dame. It's what it is. But those are my thoughts. Let me know what y'all think about this Giannis situation, man. It's your boy. I'm out.